performing a double sum. So we have a sum that's going over i and over j both. Okay, so the way to interpret something like this is to start with just looking at sort of the inside part, which is the sum over j equals 1 to 2. So we're going to keep that i summation out in front and say i, the sum of i equals 1 to 3, but then we're going to take those uh, indices for the j and start plugging them into the expression that's represented. So if we were to replace j with 1, we would first get i minus 1, and if we were to replace the j with 2, we would get i minus 2, and summation mo notation just means to add those together. So we would end up getting the summation of i equals 1 to 3 of i plus i, which is 2i, and then minus 1 minus 2 more, which is minus 3. So that gets rid of the first inner summation, and now we can do the outer summation. So for the outer summation, we're now going to interpret the i marching from 1 to 3. So if we were to replace i with 1, we'd have 2 times 1, which is 2, minus 1, or minus 3, which is negative 1. Then we would replace i for 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 minus 3 is positive 1. And then we replace i with 3, right, which would now be 2 times 3 is 6, minus 3 is 3. And then we would add those together. Minus 1 plus 1 is 0 plus 3 is 3, and so that's our final answer to this double, th double sum is positive 3. So now why don't you pause the video and see if you can do this one on your own. The sum i equals 1 to 3 of the sum j equals 0 to 2 of just j. So there is no i floating around this time. So assuming you paused the video and gave this a good old shot here, let's see what we can do together. I'm going to put some parentheses around that so that we're doing the sum i equals 1 to 3 of, now I'm going to replace j equals 0 to 2 in each uh, increment of the index. So if we replace j with 0, we get 0. If we replace j with 1, we get 1. And if we replace j with 2, we get 2. So inside of there, we have 0 plus 1 plus 2. So this is going to be equal to the sum i equals 1 to 3, and 0 plus 1 plus 2 is just the number 3. So now we're ready to do the summation on the i index. So if I were to place i with 1, what do we get out of this argument? Well, it looks like we just get a 3, because there is no i. <laughs> if we replace i with 2, we also get 3, and if we replace i with 3, we just get 3. Right, because there's no i in the argument, so we just get whatever the output says, and that's 3. 3 plus 3 plus 3, of course, would be 9, and that's the final answer for this double sum.